Hey guys, it's Josh here, and uh, today I'm going to show you a technique that'll help you land a lot more fish with a topwater frog once they strike. And uh, here's my Spro hollow body popper frog, and then here's my KVD sexy frog. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing that I did, um, once I learned the technique, was uh, to chop off like the tail, or, like the legs of the frog by, let's say, like four or five inches. Uh, because uh, bass like to just go for the tail most of the time and um, when they do go for the tail they're not really going for the body therefore you won't be able to hook them so uh, what I did was just chop the tail in half uh, otherwise uh, the tail would be about say five inches longer and that's no good so I definitely chop off the tail say by four or five inches and then uh, what I did next was uh, I grabbed like a needle nose plier and I kind of like bent the hooks up, as you can see. Sorry, it's kind of blurry. Bent the hooks up. And uh, that really, really affected how, my, how much fish I actually landed. And I uh, actually landed a lot more fish that way. So uh, try to bend your hooks up, please. The needle nose pliers. It's one of these guys. Just grab onto it and then just kind of bend it. And then uh, the next thing that I learned was um, uh, when, when a bass strikes, you have to wait at least two seconds so let the fish eat it for two seconds and then like finally yank it to set the hook so wait two seconds and then set the hook and then you'll most likely get them perfect nice molly yep Yeah, you let him have it. 